Hello everyone, welcome to Michael's vlog. Uh, first off, I wanna say uh, I apologize if you hear any background noises. Right now there's a guy outside selling something and there's about a ton of other noises going on. But nonetheless, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into uh, what the topic of this video is, which is a horrible business rule in the Philippines. Yes, to me they have a very horrible rule that took place between 2017 and 2018, according to the person I spoke with in uh, DTI, which refers to the department trade industry, which is the place where you register uh, a business that you're starting up in the Philippines. So me and my wife went to the DTI and what they told me is basically this. You have to pick a word from a list. Yes, a word from a list that they have to be a part of your company name. So no matter what great company name you come up with, it's going to be ruined by taking a, a, a word from the list that they have. On top of that, you can't use an adjective to describe your company. So if you wanted to name your company, for example, Gourmet Breads, you probably can't do that because Gourmet is describing the quality of the food. If you wanted to name it Amazing Breads, you cannot do that. If you wanted to name it The World's Worst Chicken, you cannot name it that. And there's actually companies that existed before this new rule came into effect. And so in essence, they still benefit from having these great company names that they can name it whatever they want to, to get the customer's attention. Whereas now you cannot do that. So in essence, this is what I believe happened. And this is just my opinion. It's not based on fact. I believe the big powerful companies uh, saw that some, maybe some of the startup companies were becoming really good with good company names that were making them stand out and getting business and maybe taking a bit of the pie away from them in terms of their earnings. And so maybe they all got together and decided, you know what, we got to restrict them in the name because the name is the foundation for how people do business with them. So, you know, I know this personally myself. If I see a good company name that just started and it catches my attention, I'm more likely to go into their restaurant and eat there because the name caught my attention. Whereas now, because everybody's name looks the same because you got to pick a word from this list and you're restricted in how you can name your company even outside of that, it becomes like finding a needle in a haystack. It's almost impossible to separate yourself from the other companies because you all have to pick a name from this list and then add whatever part you want on before that. And then it's just like your company looks like everybody else's company. So I believe the heat was put on the big companies from these smaller startups that were becoming maybe popular to the point where they're like, hey, you're stealing away some of my profits. Let's get together and try to make this new rule where the newer, newer companies cannot have a name that stands out and, and says or speaks to the company as being luxury or valuable. So I hope you get the idea of what I'm trying to say here. Basically, the name is the foundation for a new company when they start out to really get recognized. And when you take that power away, it becomes very difficult to make your company stand out. So I guess you're probably wondering, what is my suggestion of what you should do with this particular situation? And that is this you should try to get the best looking logo you can because the logo at this point is not restricted. Get the best looking logo design you can, post it on everything that you do, and have an amazing logo that stands out and that can help you to make up for maybe the horrible name that you have to choose when you go to the DTI. My next tip for you is to have the best graphic design work for your packaging if you have a physical product. Make it look glorious. Make it look amazing and have the best headlines. That would be an additional tip. Have the best headlines you can. If you don't know what a headline is, go do some research on it and find out about what a great headline is. Get some of the best headlines you can on your package to make it sound amazing because they can't restrict you on the headline at this point. So have the best headline you can to make your company be separated from all the other companies and make it no longer a situation where it's like finding a needle in a haystack. On top of that, make a great commercial if you have the budget for it, or make your own commercial and do the best you can with that until you have the budget to make an amazing commercial. And just use those different factors to separate yourself from the other companies because at this particular point, it's very restricted in how you can name your company. And the best tool that you have is the things that I mentioned to you. Now, maybe you have some other ideas that you can share with me that could be useful, but at the end of the day, the main thing you wanna focus on is what kind of value can you deliver to your customer within the constraints that they put in front of you in terms of restricting your name. Because at this point, I would say you want to start a business as fast as possible before they add new constraints that make it even more difficult for you to you know, get your name out there and uh, make it amazing enough where people are want to, going to want to do business with you. So that was kind of my rant about the horrible business rule here in the Philippines. 
it really sucks because I spent many months coming up with a great name for a company and now I have to choose this you know basic name that I'm not exactly excited about I'm only excited about it partially because it uses my son's name and the whole purpose of me um, trying to do a business in the Philippines is to build something locally for my son and, and for my family in general because I have a business but it's not it's not located in the Philippines so obviously it has no benefit to me directly here or to my family directly here but you know we went with a generic name that uses my son's name as part of the business name and we're gonna just have to work with it the best way we can and we're gonna try to use whatever tools and techniques we can to make it still amazing and stand out from other companies because you know I'm, I'm a type of person that I really focus on delivering high quality and high value you know for the video editing service that I do and for the web design service I charge top dollar you know I'm in the higher bracket for charging for uh, business services for video editing and web design I'm not at average not anywhere near average so it's you know it's kind of my standard that I have I, I want the best name I want the best packaging you know I want the best service I want the best value that I can offer to uh, my customers and I really feel like I'm 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 letting my customers down by not having the best name because I want everything to fit together perfectly but you know with life nothing is perfect and you're gonna have to make adjustments and in this case I had to make adjustments and I chose whatever I could choose for the business name even though I don't 100% agree with the name that I had to choose uh, based on the systems that they have in place here in the Philippines so if you're doing a new business go to the DTI first before you even think about naming your company because you're going to be restricted and you can't name it exactly what you want to I hope that you guys uh, found this video helpful in terms of the information I'm sharing with you I'm sure a lot of you will find it very valuable because if you spent many months on making a name like I did you're gonna be very frustrated to go to the DTI to find out that you cannot use that name not even any part of it I couldn't use any part of the name that I came up with which is very sad so I may even have to consider starting that company name in a whole nother country if I want it to be a reality but at this point we're just gonna work with what we have so I hope that you enjoyed this video uh, it's one of a kind I've never really made a business video like this on my vlog uh, relating to doing business in the Philippines I hope you found it helpful and if you did don't don't forget to embed comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos until then have a great day